Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerd Out's New Stand, and today we got the announcement for DC Fandom 2021. Now, this event happened last year, if you remember, and it was awesome. They did a great job of really showcasing what was going on, whether it was in the TV department or in comics, definitely in movies. We saw a little trailer for the Batman when it was only 20% done, but they managed to put a trailer. Now, there is going to be the same thing happening this year, a little different, and there's actually one little bit that worries me a bit, and we will talk about that, but we're going to talk about everything that is included in DC fandom, and I think it looks really promising. I wish, and I'll say it right away, that they had more that did, had to do with the comics, but I understand why they don't. They probably took a look at the analytics last year and were like, yeah, just nobody, nobody cares. There is a little bit, though, so we're going to take a look at it. But they already do have their website up and going. You can add it to your calendar, do all that fun stuff. But anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe, hit like, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're most looking forward to when it comes to DC fandom, because there's a lot of good. But again... Me with my comics, I want more. So the big thing is going to be the first official full-length trailer for the Batman. That is going to be huge. Now, remember, this is October 16th. I guess I should add that first. And instead of being like a whole day event, they're looking at more around four hours, which is fine. I don't see an issue with that because after that four-hour mark, you've either checked out and even last year, a lot of it just kind of got repetitive. So you really have to put the best foot forward in that four hours. So, of course, the Batman. Everybody's excited for that. I think it looks good. I think the test screenings we're seeing recently, if they're true, if they're true, are really positive. So it's not the only movie, though. There are six DC films that are actually being teased. So we have the Batman as well as a good look at Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam. Now, I expect this will probably be the second biggest movie that we're seeing because it has been done the longest. It's been done for quite a while now, and um, I'm sure they can put together at least a teaser and maybe some live-action Black Adam. Maybe we'll get to see some of the JSA characters. I hope, I hope, I hope. God, I, that's all I want. Just give me my JSA. I'm getting it in Stargirl, so I'm pretty happy. But we're also going to get a look at The Flash. Now, if you remember a few weeks back, there was a leak of a Flash teaser that kept getting removed <laughs> over and over again. But people were able to catch it. The Internet's forever. The Warner Brothers, I hate to break it to you, but the Internet is forever. So people were able to see a little bit of the teaser that was going it wasn't finished but it was it was done well enough and there are some maybe surprise characters we can expect to see in that i don't know so another movie we are expected to um oh boy get a behind the scenes tour of i'm assuming it's going to be something like we saw from suicide squad last year that was really well done and the movie turned out just as good as i thought it was going to be then so Two movies here, Aquaman, The Lost Kingdom, and Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Now, I am absolutely looking forward more to Shazam. I think with Jeff Johns behind it, it's probably going to be just as good as the first. And I'm curious to see all of the villainry and everything going on is new, which really actually intrigues me. So, of course, Aquaman... Um, not super excited about just just going to lay it out there. I love the first one, but, you know, with the Wicked Witch of the West in in suit as Mira, I don't think a lot of us are excited. So DC uh, League of Super Pets is the last movie that we can expect to see. Now, that is also being voiced by Dwayne Johnson. So I have it looked really cute. The little teaser we got and I love the super pets. I know I'm a grown ass woman, but. I'm still excited for it. So as far as television goes, now this is not concrete, but it is kind of guesstimated that we're going to see something from the Green Lantern Anthology Corps that we're going to see throughout different time periods, right? 
I'm guessing by this time, I've been talking about this Green Lantern show for nearly two years. I'm guessing it's time to kind of actually let it go, DC. Come on. I don't know if they're having production issues or what, but that is not confirmed. That is just my guess. What is confirmed is new looks at the Batwoman who just got, you know what? Sidebar here. Sidebar. They just got cast. Poison Ivy. Why do you put the best characters on the worst shows? You had Hush. You had Black Mask. It is so BS. You don't need to take the good characters for the bad shows to lift them up. I'm still not going to watch them. Put them in your good shows. Anyway, so The Flash, uh, Superman and Lois, awesome, and Sweet Tooth. It'll also do a little tribute to Supergirl. It is almost the end of that, or it has been. I'm not sure. I don't watch Supergirl. I ducked out a while ago. It will also talk about Legends of Tomorrow because it has reached that 100th episode mark. And they're going to talk about the upcoming season. Also, we can expect a little bit, of course, from the best show ever. Stargirl. Um, best show. Best show ever. And Naomi. I'm curious to see if we get a first. We got a little bit of a look uh, at the homage to the original cover we saw. But I am curious to see what they bring out. Maybe a little teaser. So, also, we're getting Peacemaker. Oh, boy. I don't know how they're going to do this. We did get a new little look at a poster. Looks cool, I suppose. But The Suicide Squad was an amazing movie. And John Cena did a great job at it. But how they're going to redeem this character is still up in the air. James Gunn isn't big enough to redeem an irredeemable character. So we'll have to wait and see. I just, you know... You, you point the gun at Ratcatcher 2, and she's definitely my girl ch crush of the year. Yeah, yeah, you, you're just not my friend anymore. Sorry, John Cena. Anyways, we also will get a look at, or at least some information on DMZ, Titans, and Doom Patrol. Titans has started. I did announce this in my live stream, but I want to make sure I say something here. Next week, I will have the writer from the show on, Brian Edward Hill. And I will have him on Ask the Experts. So I'm going to talk a little bit of Titans. Going to talk a little bit of Outsiders and different comics that he's done. But I'm very excited for that. So as far as publishing, this is where I look. We have three Wonder Woman books that will be kind of talked about. One is Wonder Woman History. I have been waiting for this to come out for a very long time. I hope. I hope it is good. Nubia and the Amazons. I love it. I cannot wait. And then Wonderful Women of the World. That was originally Wonder Women of the World. And it has since changed because it's just. Well, I'm going to leave that one up for you to decide. Not for made for me. We'll just say that. We're also going to get a little bit more from what is going on in the future of the Batman and Fortnite crossover comic. I'm guessing if I had to gander a guess, it's going to Metropolis from Gotham. Fortnite will be invading Metropolis. We'll see. We'll see. But we'll also learn a little bit more about Fear State and the new six issue miniseries about Black Aunt Manta and one more about the Milestone Milestone Universe. If you've been keeping up with it, Icon and Rocket is absolutely my favorite, but all the titles have been well enough. Not nothing to write home about, but well enough. So as far as animation, we'll hear a little bit on Aquaman, King of Atlantis. Did a video on this a while back. It looks absolutely terrifying. It looks like something made for nightmares. I have zero interest. Now, we'll also hear about the third season of animated show Harley Quinn. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely love that show. So good. So, and then an early sneak peek at Batman. Cape Crusader also looks very good. And then... Young Justice Phantoms. So, as far as animated movies, there's going to be two films. One is Injustice. I absolutely cannot wait for. And if it turns out bad, we still have the cutscenes from the games. And then Catwoman Hunted, which I'm a little bit more standoffish about, but I'm going to give it a chance. We'll have to see. So, last little section we got to make it through here is the gaming. And I am... I was hoping to actually be, you know, playing Gotham Knights by now. The original due date for that was 
this past summer. But we're going to get more from Gotham Knights and we're going to get more from Suicide Squad, Kill the Joker or Kill the Justice League. Um, and both are done uh, by WB Montreal and Rocksteady Studios. Now, I'm really looking forward to this games. I just I just really hope they come out. And I know a lot has to do with COVID and everything else. But just come on already. <laughs> I, I would like to hear a new game announcement, maybe a Superman game, but it's it's highly unlikely. So there are also some free comics if you are interested at DCFandom.com. Here's a new look at Harley Quinn. Absolutely love it. She looks so good in that. So good in that. So there are some new free reads from DC. And I don't know if they're doing more on the day like they did before, but as of right now, this is the Flash White storyline, the Sandman storyline, and the Injustice storyline. That is all free there. All of which I have read, I have no use for, but even so, they're still really good. They're still worth reading. So let me know, of course, what you guys think about Fando. Kind of looking awesome. Just wish we had a little bit more. I'm hoping that Fear State panel from the publishing department will give us a little bit more into Tinian and I wish they would have done one for action comics and for the Superman line going on they did one for Wonder Woman they did one for Batman I'm not sure why they did it for for Superman so anyways let me know of course what you guys think I will see you in the next one bye bye